No, I did not get shot in the face, but here's the deal. We were carpeting a kitchenette type area and we were moving a mini fridge which had ketchup packets all over it. The ketchup packet fell in between the carpet and the wall and when I kicked with the kicker, the packet exploded all over my face, all over the wall and went all the way up to the ceiling. That was from one tiny ketchup packet. Let's get into this content here. What's cracking? It's Michael Alder here from CarpetExpertBlueprint.com and yes, I'm losing my voice, but the show must go on. In this video, I want to share with you how anybody can seam indoor-outdoor carpet together with this hack technique. So here's the deal. We got a doorway, two different carpets going together, and I'm just going to drag a really fresh blade over top of both carpets, cutting through both of them there. Now the key is to have a sharp blade, otherwise this will be a horrible result. Once you cut door jam to door jam, we're going to remove the top piece, get that out of the way. We're going to make sure we cut all the way through on the bottom one. And then once we know we're good to go, we're going to go ahead and pull that out. And the reason we want to make, use a sharp blade and make sure we cut all the way through, because if you don't, strings will go everywhere. So we got like 40 year old carpet on one side, brand new on the other. We're going to cut our seam tape here. Then we're going to go ahead and line it up from door jam to door jam and fold under each end about two inches on each side just to kind of beef it up on the tack strip a little bit. That way our seam iron will melt it evenly for us. So once that's lined up halfway under each side, we're good to go. We need to grab our seam iron, get that bad boy unplugged. The old tug tug trick isn't working there, so I'm going to go ahead and set that on the seam tape. Unplug the iron because I don't like using extension cords. And then we're going to go ahead and use the existing heat from the iron to burn the seam. Like I said, if this works, anybody could do this here. So let it sit there about 8 to 10 seconds. We're going to slide it an iron's length forward. And then I'm going to push down the old side and then I do this little swoop technique with the new side. The reason I'm doing that is because I'm getting a little bit of that seam tape adhesive in between the seams like a seam sealer. But we're avoiding the need to use that there. This seals the edges, you won't get any running fibers and you're good to go. It's really that simple. So it all goes back to the cut. You do a good cut, you're good to go. See that little swoop technique? Swoop, boop, good to go. Now, this won't fray or run or anything and if you do catch any loops along the way as you're burning it, just take your blade, tuck those down into the glue there, you will be good to go. And then when you pull out the iron on the other end, you just want to do a slide technique up the wall. Don't pull it straight out because the tape will come with it and you'll have a huge mess on your hands. That's all there is to this. This is proving that anybody could seam indoor outdoor carpet in a doorway together. If you have any questions about the carpet and flooring industry, go ahead and comment below. I'll create a follow up video answering your questions for you. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll connect with you on the next video.